all the electrics uh, basically done here in the garage. So six 30 amp lines, 220s, and then that's 200 amps for those. This will be running an air conditioner, an ethernet to a nice 24 port gigabit switch. Yeah, so pretty soon they'll be all good to go. Hey guys, I've got an S9 that's been giving me troubles and has a weird firmware on it. And I've been wanting to try out Brains OS, which is an open source alternative to the default Antminer software. There's like a little SD card reader there, and you can basically boot from that. There's a bunch of pins right in there, or jumpers I should say, right in there. I'll put a focus. And I need to change them. Um, they're set to boot from the ROM, I guess. And I need to change up the pins so that it'll boot from the SD card. Now, to do that, you need to get to them, and there's this stupid plate on the top getting in your way. So, first I assumed, oh, I can probably just take off this faceplate, and there's a screw on each side. Well, not quite. Then, there, let me get over here. If you look, there's these little clamps. Oh, this is hard one-handed. There you go. So they, you can see, these guys lock into these little notches. And then you can slide it out. But, it stops there. And you can't really get to it then, either. And then you're like, okay, maybe I can shove it out the front. This again is hard one-handed. Well, it stops there. And if you look, you can see what's going on is the connector right there is hitting on this interior rail, which is where that screw went into. So next, I'm assuming, I want to take these guys out, perhaps. So let's try that. I'm not intending to fully disassemble this thing, but I might end up doing it. And then let's try this one over here, which avoids my warranty sticker, whatever. Now can I do anything? So that's loose. Okay. Now I'm going to get the other two. So yeah, there's one there. bend the thing. And this guy. So taking those four screws off at each corner worked. And I can actually see the hash boards and they are dirty as all get out. I need to clean this out. But that's completely off now. So I can just pull the thing straight off. Just like that. So that's the solution. One, two, three, four screws. You take off your fan. And there you go. And now you can get to your board. All right. So now I've got the control board off and out by itself. And you'll see right. There, these are those four jumpers I'm talking about. So, looking at them this way, you've got jumper one, two, three, and four. Or, I actually can read them this way. GP1, GP2, GP3, GP4. Now, this arrangement, so down, up, down, down, that tells it to boot from the ROM. To boot from to boot from the jump drive, I need to move the last one up. 
Okay, so now this arrangement, I just moved the last one up, so it's down, up, down, up. That arrangement of the jumpers from uh, what I'm reading on Brains OS's instructions, that should tell it to boot from this little SD card reader up there. And I happen to have an old 2 gig SD card reader. Oh, this is micro SD. Oh, okay then. This one's micro SD. Fun. I don't know if I have a spare micro SD lying around. I probably do somewhere. Alrighty, so not an SD card, but rather micro SD card. Goes right in there, upside down from this side. So pins up. Let's try this. There we go. Just pops in. There you go. So now I just have to put this crap back together. Alright, so the faceplate is going to go there. Make sure your SD card is clear. There's two screws for that. See how well I can do this one handed. Guy there. Okay, so that's now on. Now these data cords go from the hashing boards, there's three of them, to the control board. There's one of them. You want basically this side goes to that, middle goes to the middle, that side goes to that. So it's kind of makes sense, matches up. Alright, boom. And there's only one way they can go, if you notice. This side goes out that way. Yeah. And the same for all three. Then the fans, I don't think it matters which one's which, but these are for the fans. And they go there. And the back fan goes there. Alright, and it's hooked back up and blinking happily. Uh, now I'm going to go, and it's the one in the middle. I'm going to go and take a look at the software side of things. Hey, I've got an S9 that was been sitting unused for a couple of months, never plugged in because I didn't have enough electricity to get it going. Well, I finally do, and it's not working. Now, overheating, getting to 95 degrees Celsius very quickly. And I just figured out why. So, the fans are directional, right? So this fan, you can see the little arrow, is rotating that way and blowing out that way, which is correct. This fan, on the other hand, is blowing that way and rotating that way. So you've got one fan blowing this way and one fan blowing that way, and that doesn't work very well. It basically needs to go whoop, one direction. <laughs>